Good evening, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well this evening. Unless you're the West Coast, it's not quite evening until about... Let's go in the house! Hey, everyone. Minutes. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to Ken's Creations Home Decor DIY. Hola. So, <clears throat> I know. It is before 6 o'clock and we're live. I'm shocked myself. But... I was ready to go an hour ago, but that's okay. Listen, he wasn't. But, CC, you cannot eat that ball. No. Um, but we have to go to Walmart because we're having manwiches tonight. But not just regular manwich. Sean needs new manwich. I also want to give new manwich. You wanted to do something need, special. No, I just need to get more buns. I'm out. I thought you wanted to do something special, but okay. I said next time we do it, I want to oh. make it homemade. I do want to thank, and I forgot the name. I'm so sorry. I think it was Curran. I always Kieran. say it wrong. Curran. We got mushrooms. Hmm? I was I a little scared. I have, not, I have not seen them. Yet. I thought it was raw chicken. But it's not. We're good. No. Okay. So, um, we are doing a two-part video. Mm -hmm. First part, which is this video, boop, 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 is all about Sean. You look different. What happened to hipster Sean? <laughs> Where's my hipster Santa? You don't want that. Oh. This is what you need. This is, this is muy, muy bien. Is it because I told you I have a crush on your cousin? That <laughs> now you have this going on? He's got some gray hair, but not quite Are like mine. All right. I did check with our local store to see if there is, you know how iPhone has an upgrade where you can go in and say like, hey, I have an older model iPhone. I'd like to upgrade to the newer one. I checked with Sean to see if I have an upgrade for his family to see if I can upgrade <laughs> to a newer model. And he said, no, no, I would never upgrade you, Sean. Okay. So we're going to show you how to paint. I know it's so exciting, but so many people asked us how we painted our wood blocks yesterday. I don't know if Sean has a photo of that, of the blocks. I think oh. so. We showed it yesterday. It's probably under the Chocotour one. And then go to where it says autumn blocks all the way at the bottom. Harvest right there. Harvest. Not the oh, video, yes. the block. Yeah. 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 So we had a lot of people ask, how did you paint those? And I was like, well, I painted them. But more likely they want to know the distressing. So in today's mm -hmm. video, we are going to show you that. We're going to use Dixie Bell, use their synthetic brushes, all of that good jazz. But I want to tell you something. Yes, some of the stuff we're talking about is out of stock, but Dixie Bell gets stuff in all the time. So just sign up for their alerts as soon as they come in, buy them because their synthetic brushes are way cheaper than anything else out there. Okay. Um, are we not on Facebook? Oh yeah, I see yeah, him yeah, there's Facebook. Hi everyone. All right, so quickly before we do that, we've been getting a ton of questions on this. Let's go down to this camera. All right. So this video went live yesterday. Yes, this is our newest bundle we are selling in our kits and cutout group. Now, I already know what you're saying. Mm. Ken, I'm not part of that group. I'm not on Facebook. I was a designer and you kicked me out. Well, we are letting people back in, um, but this is pre-order. So. This, the the pre-order is just for the H-O-M-E magnet, the interchangeable. You can do an add-on for the this frame, but this thing here, this this circle oval, you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's for like seven bucks. But the actual kit comes with the either the home rectangle, home square. It comes with 48 different icons, um, holiday icons. Look how cute these are. Now, it, I, I just want to point out that uh, I did only one magnet just to save time to get things ready, but I would probably suggest doing two just for a little better mm -hmm. uh, on there. One one works, but two is probably a little better. So it comes with 24 different icons. So totally, you're getting 88 pieces out the door, shipped for the bundle, shipping, tax, handling, time, customer service, the whole kit and caboodle, it is $65 out the mm -hmm. door. So if you're interested in this, send us an email or join our group. Yeah. So if you're not part of the group, you can send us an email to kbclkits, K-I-T-S, at gmail.com. Well, that's a good question, Claire. She says, is there a group of brushes or do you have to buy them separately from those ones? There, you do buy them separately. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's move this off. Yeah, a little pricey, but you'll understand why. Um, they are so good. All right. So down below is all the links we're going to be discussing. Number one, 
I usually don't bring in other brands on this type of video, but Cricut is having a pretty good sale and you might want to get in on it. If you're a Cricut Access member, it is 50% off tools, materials, and accessories. Now, it is not valid on anything in the past 90 days. So if it's a new product, you're not going to get it at 50% off. But everything else you are, and you can use our coupon code KBCL, that'll give you another 10% off. Amen, nice. It's cray cray, okay? Um, also, when you use the links down below, they help support Ken's Creations, and for that, we thank you. If you want to know more about the home bundle or anything else we talked about, about see down below. All right, this is the two-part video. So, first part is here. You're here. Yay. Second part will be on our Chalk Couture channel. That's going to be a pretty short video because these are pretty easy once we get the painting done. Um, also, I want to go to Walmart because here's the deal. We have found the best pretzels ever. If you have not bought these, please buy them because oh they are... Oh my gosh. Are... Here, show them. Show them. They, they are so are addictive. So buttery. If you love pretzels, it is recipe number five. I'm addicted to these pretzels. Yeah. You can get them pretty much anywhere. But now, literally when we found these, I was like, Sean, it's recipe number five. Where is the other recipes? And he was like, I don't know, Ken. Well, we found one. It's... I think it's fiery buffalo or something, just, but they said buffalo. it's not spicy. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. I'm trying to grow my hair out. I don't want to get a haircut yet because I kind of am doing this whole spiky thing, but we'll see. All right. Um, last and not least before, I know they are so good. I'm so addicted to them. Um, you really don't have eyebrows. Mm -hmm. I, I have big old bushy to, ones. You guys keep telling me I should dye these along with it. But yeah. I never think about it. I know. It would be um, all of a sudden all of a And sudden, it is super cold, so I have my hoodie on. And mad props to Sean and Jazzy. They got almost all of our Halloween down, and Thanksgiving I got to put up. And for those of you who joined our Chaka Tour uh, yesterday, we made a display, and it's up on the wall. So let's show you how it turned out. I love it. It is so fun. We had to get creative on putting it on the wall because we had to use wire and... It was a whole thing. I love that hot mess look. Look at that. It is gorgeous. And if you haven't went over to our Facebook page, check it out because we have a video showing you the entire thing. So, all right. Let's dive right in. If you have any questions, put it in caps. Oh, last but not least, if you enjoy the music in the background, I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it. But if you can't hear it, I'm sorry. But if you enjoy it, you can get them on iTunes. Morning Light Music. Are we in sync? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so excuse us if we, um, I have to walk around because I have a puppy. You want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come say hi to everyone. Grab the ball and she'll come up. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh come what here. does daddy have? Come here. Come here. Come on. Sierra. You have a chip on your nose. Sierra. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. She's sad because she oh, knows. Hi, little miss. Oh, hi, Bryles. Riley's doing very oh, well. And there's a, there's CC. Hi, CC. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her get the ball. All right, guys. So if you are friends with me on personal or if you're part of our McChess Manor Golden Retriever, you need to go check it out. I posted a video to the, nine years ago today of baby Han litter. Mm. They were probably, what, six weeks? Seven weeks? Yeah, ago? we were cleaning their pen. So this was Maya's second litter. It has Han as baby Han. He has a little silver rickrack around his neck. In, so the, uh, in the box. He's in the box. And it was a little sad, but it was also like, oh my gosh, you know what? I know we've lost Han and my heart is broken. But I'm telling you what, he was... And this is hard for me. I was really close with Toby, but Han, oh, he's irreplaceable. Yep. He was such a good dog. All right, let's get started. Okay. Let's do it. All right. A little so, butcher paper. Oops, yeah. that one fell. It's okay. That's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. All right. So. I'm fine. I'm not crying. Um, so I got these. We're going to be painting all three of these. I got these at L. Michaels. These are actually just a wood panel. Mm -hmm. Here is the deal. They consider this part of their canvases. So when they have their canvases that are buy one, get three free, or buy one, get one free, take advantage. They come in all different sizes. They come in 11 by 14, 9 by 12, 10 by 10, 12 by 12, 8 by 8, 9 by... 
eight by 10 I already said. So yeah, get them. You can use them like this, which has the nice recess, or you can use it like this and use this to hang, which is what we are going to do. They are uh, natural wood, so they do kind of soak up your paint. Keep that in mind. The colors we are using, we're going for a fall color. This is for our bathroom. So we're going to be using Dixie Belle. This is called Muscadine. Muscadine wine. Wine. This is called Colonial Mustard. And then we're using actually chalked up paint. This is Harvest. And then for the distressing or the dry breast method, we're using the chalked up paint. You can see it's well loved. Um, so, hi, Janet. Um, so, I, oh, Janet, side note, I got your email about Christmas trees and I will respond to you. It's just been a busy day. Okay, so question on these. Everyone says, why do you like the chalked up paint? Dixie Bill is my go-to paint. I love Dixie Bill paint. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But when I do a dry brush method where I get that nice kind of distressed look, um, I want my paint to be a little bit on the thinner side. So either water down this or chalked up paint. Uh, okay. This stuff is amazing. So I get it at Annie T's website. Um, and she gets it from, I think, like her neighbor or something. It's made in a garage. Um, but you get 10% off of this. If you use KK10, you'll get 10% off. And I think she has close to 25 colors. So hmm. I love it for distressing. It's not the best for like a base coat because you'll have to use a lot. But for distressing, it is great. All right. Yeah. Kathy Zamponga asks, what size are these boards? These are the 11 by 14. There you go. So. Nancy says, my grandpa used to make muscadine wine. I don't know what that is. What kind of wine is that, Nancy? Yeah. Please do tell. I think somebody said this. So I am out. shaking up the paint. Sean will be mad because it does get in the lid. But you do want to shake up the paint because it will separate a little bit. Water will come to the top. All right. So let's go back down to this camera. Mm -hmm. And I am going to be using, at first, these. So these are the synthetic brushes. So let me explain to you really quick the difference here. Synthetic brushes is great for doing a whole base coat. It's going to hold more paint. It's going to make your paint go a little bit longer. It does not leave brush marks. It does not have any shedding. These, this is the French tip and this is the bell brush. I will use these for all of my distressing and dry brushing. And you want something that leaves behind kind of that brush mark and stuff. These are out of stock and these are out of stock. Just put an email reminder, um, because I put an email reminder, Sean, and now look at how many I have. And you get tons. And I didn't buy them all, but I mean, I could have. Look at all these I got. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the, while I'm getting things ready, why don't you go over all the difference in these synthetic, yeah. the sizes they have? Because they are, um, the, they are for different purposes. We do have a video on this, so you can see it. There's mm -hmm. a video coming also on this. But um, they're all together except for one. The mini angle is its own separate entity. Why? I don't know, but it is. It might be in the top drawer. No, there it is. All right. Well, what I'm saying is it all of these, you go to one page and you can buy them. This one, you don't. It's all by, all itself. by itself. Weird. So I'm going to be actually using the mini angle, and I'm going to start with... The oh, muscadine or muscadine. muscadine. And you do want to use a little bit of water with these brushes. Sean doesn't like me dipping it because no, he much. says it's too much. It's too much water. So I just grab my fine mist sprayer, which is over here, okay. and I'm just going to spray it. So the one he's using, the, uh, first of all, all of the hilts of the, I know there's another name, but I'm just going to call it a hilt, of all these brushes are stainless steel, which means they will not, will not rust. Um, also, the material that the, that's holding the bristles together, it's some kind of a gluish material, will not uh, dissolve in water if it sits. These things sit in water very well. Leave them in there. It's not going to do anything to they them. They love water. They love water very well. Um, the one he's got there, that angle is a two inch. They also have a one and a half inch. This is the mini. That's the mini. So this is the two inch? That's two inch. Oh, good to know. Uh, this is a two inch as well. Um, then they go into a, and these are what they call flat, flat, large, flat, small, flat, medium. It's because it's flat on top. That's why they call them that. So they're just flat across. That one's angled. Like Jasmine. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a one inch. Then you get into the oval. So it's oval. So what would you use different? Like what, what would I use the flat versus the oval? The flat's great for doing flat surfaces, obviously like this. Um, oval is great for using, uh, on furniture, 
because uh, you can dab up in there. 3D I, items, that kind of 3D stuff. 3D items, stuff like that. So there is an um, <clears throat> oval medium, a oval small. I think they might have an oval medium, uh, large, but I do not know. I, I would have. There's to... only two oval. Okay, so just some small. Two medium oval, then. two round. There you go. And then the two round ones. But these are the round because why? They're round on the top. So the best Got a way, small and a large. The best way to think of this is these brushes, you guys. These aren't like a chip brush. A chip brush you can junk up, get rid of, and that stuff. So yep. this brush, you're not going to very much use these brushes to like dab or stuff like that. This is mostly to get the most coverage. Um, they clean really well. But what, what I like about them is I don't have to dip it as, in paint as much. It, mm -hmm. it definitely holds the paint. And it gives you an even coverage where you do not get those brush marks, yeah, which it, is very important. You get a brush mark, but it's a very fine, tight, tight brush mark where those, uh, the uh, natural brush ones give you a much wider, yes. deeper, because it, the bristles are very large. And, and you can, like Sean said, you can just have them soak in the water. I'm not gonna put too much water on this, but um, you'll see it, it just literally falls away. Now, um, Dixie Belle paint in general is a little bit on the thicker side, so you're gonna want to definitely water it down just a little bit, because if not, it is kind of hard to move around. Mm -hmm. Um, Sean likes to, I don't mind just dipping it in water like this and dipping in here. Sean takes it on a, especially if he's rolling, he went to Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight. and just got a metal tray. Yeah, they, they use that tray for uh, mixing bon, uh, Bondo together. So it's, Bondo. it's a nice 12, almost a, a 10 by 12 type of thing. It's yep. really great. Works now, well. um, the other thing about this paint um, I love is it comes off easy. I use the scrubby brush and so easy. So easy. Uh, so what is the scrubby brush? The scrubby brush, which you can also get on the Dixie Bell. Dixie Bell website, basically is a scrubby, this type of material, scrubby, right? Little cellular type of thing where they cut them in these sizes, then dip it into their uh, soap when it's liquid, and then they sol solidify into a soap. So there's a little bit of the scrubbing on the outside, just so you have something to scrub. And then as the soap start, slowly goes away, you'll then have a full thing of a scrubby. And this one here, so lovely, is lemon. They make a lemon lime and orange. So that was originally sent to me by a customer mm -hmm. that said, oh my gosh, Ken, you should use this stuff. I got it, I used it, and I was like, okay, I don't, okay. And then as I started using it, and let me go get my one that's used, I'll be right back. Let me go grab it. Let's see. As you start using it, go and show them that, Sean. What am I showing? Oh, that one. This is how it comes, and I love it. It's literally like, it's like... So now it's almost all scrubby on the outside, but there's just a little bit of soap on the inside left. But it still will work just wonders on trying to clean your hands and whatnot. Yeah. And um, they, like we said, it comes in three different flavors. Yep. Or smells. <laughs> smells. And what's funny is that somebody actually bought some left them in their car and their car just smelled so citrusy which is like that's pretty nice uh i don't know what's what do you use Can to I paint you, the uh end? it could be that my club couture members got that last quarter yeah almost like an exfoliating material it almost is. yes it's just like i a, love it can you shower with it? Sure, if you want. Yeah, it's, and if it's you essential have, oils. And if you have soft water, holy cow, it makes your body feel okay. so soft. So you can see here, we put this in, and we just are going to let it soak in there until we're done. Yep. Now, what I love about chalk paint is it dries so quick. So we're going to dry this, but then we're going to move on before we distress it. So I'm going to real quick. So it still has a little bit uh, more to dry, which is no big deal. If you are a fan of our Dixie Bell stuff, oh my goodness, get excited. We have two new videos coming. 
Number one is, so for those that didn't they, know, we they did can't a gel you, stain. They can't hear you when you're over there. Will you show them the gel stains? Yes, so here's our gel stains. That round board that we showed you on the home, the one that said home on it, the round one, it's this one here that's called tobacco. And it's beautiful brown. And this is just one coat, I believe. Or did we do two? I think we did one. one coat. The only one that we did two, I think, was the turquoise one because it would it was so light. I had to do a second one just to give it a, a little more ump. But everything else here is all just one coat. Yes. So Not this will be beautiful black. We show them this way. So this video is already posted. It's the Voodoo gel stain. So easy to use with their applicator pads. Now, we also have a video on their brushes, but I have two videos coming. One is their metallic paint. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at this paint, you guys. Metallic. So let me show you down below. This stuff is amazing. It's got great coverage. You can see how shiny it is. You can do multiple layers to get different looks. You can see here we have black, white as the color, and then right onto the board. You can see all that. Yeah. So these are cool. But, and this was also done on the... Um, Frames I got at Michael's. These are their 8x8. Eight eight. There you go. Cindy, there's your answer. Where did the wood from? Michael's. Okay, so this other product that I cannot wait to start playing with, um, Sean didn't quite get at first. I showed it to him, and he was thinking like paint or stain, and he didn't understand like when he thinks glaze, he thinks overall. But they have glazes, and they are amazing. Look at this. Their glazes, you can maneuver and get this really nice distressed that look. That's called grunge. Grunge. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not grunge. That's the the brown one. This one is called Van Dyke Brown. Van Dyke Brown. That's Gru grunge. Grunge. This is the pearl. And that's pearl the sapphire. blue sapphire. Or yeah. sapphire. These are the metallic, so copper, gold, silver, and that's whitewash. Whitewash, and then, <laughs> and we didn't even know it. We had a, a second one. Yeah. A ninth one that we didn't even black. know So this black. is the black. And then this, they did the whitewash. And then they did this glaze to give the it this black, cool distressing. So let's show them this way. Yep. Look at these. So this video should be uploaded by next week to show you how you can use these glazes to give it a really cool look. Mm -hmm. Um, They're so versatile. Yeah. So obviously this works really well on if you're looking at repainting your... Uh, cupboard doors in your kitchen or bathroom. Uh, then you would, after you do that and found the glaze you want, you would then want to put some kind of coating on top. They do a wax. They have what's called a alligator hide. Um, there's another one you can do. So all that's all you have to do. One of those. I had to tell Sean to stop farting because it yep. stinks and he's farting and he tries to deny it, but he has a scent. And I know his scent. Hi, Sharon. All right, so we are going to move on to our yellow, which is called Colonial, wait, Colonial Mustard? Col uh, Colonel, Colonel Mustard. That's Colonel? Yes. Oh, well, yeah. now I feel like an idiot. Not Colonial, Whatever. it's Colonel. <laughs> I know it's French. So oh. once again, I'm just using, can we go down to this camera, Shani? Yes, yeah, right. Um, this time I am using just one of the flat brushes. I won't usually use the round or ovals unless I am doing detail work, just because this gets way more coverage. Mm -hmm. um, now I understand the question that um, Carol was asking. We, on those icons for the home thing, we use Dixie Bell paint. Yep. Yep, we just used it and it works really well. Well, and the cool thing on the home thing too is, I don't know if we didn't show it, but the bottom, the letters are actually cut on thick draft board yeah. and the icons are on a thin yeah. draft board. Yep. So Little you can thinner. get these really cool looks. One's an eighth inch, yeah, the thick one's a quarter inch. And Sean and Jazzy, uh, that closes on Sunday and then they're going to be busy next week cutting and shipping. Uh Heidi, you are correct. They also have a crackle finish. I think you ordered those. I have crackle finish. We actually have a crackle. We haven't done it yet. We haven't done it yet. I also have their patina. Mm -hmm. We have the patina. So, and then they just released it something new, and I forget what it's called. I think it's called Dixie Bell. It's not Moose. I'd have to go look at their website. I don't even see it on their website yet, but it looks pretty cool to use with stencils and stuff. Want to look? Yeah, I forget the name of it. It's Go on their Facebook page. 
Dixie Bell. I don't think it's on their website yet. Un momento, por favor. I know, every time I hear Colonel Mustard, I think of Clue. That's exactly what Nancy said. Colonel Mustard with the knife in the observatory. Yeah. All right. Um... So the one thing I will say is if you are using Dixie Bell paint, um, and especially the synthetic, you want to make sure you double check all around your board because the paint, even though it's thicker, it will still run. And because it is thicker, it will dry with the run. So I always do a final... Brush. Is it called Dixie Bell paint? Yeah. Dixie Bell paint. Scroll down. Keep going. Oh, someone's live on their channel. Have fun. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Wow, that was pretty chest. How far back? What What is the days? Oh, yesterday, keep going. They go live a lot. Yeah, they do. Gosh. You can't know what's time. Some of these people find these beautiful uh, cabinetry. It's just amazing. Beautiful. Oh, that looks familiar. Yeah, it does. Um, well, goodness gracious. I, I don't know where it is. I'll have to look for it. Yeah, I need you to get my hoodie off. I'm now hot. Yeah. You guys can ask any question basically you want. Almost. Yeah, the patina one is is an interesting way of doing it. So what are you really gonna do? Um so I think there's a, a an art form doing patina. Because we kind of tried to do it and it, I don't think it quite turned out the way it should have, but you can do it. Kathy, this is just plain old butcher style. It's not butcher paper. It's just paper from a paper company. Um, we just were able to buy a roll of their leftovers. It's like it's like they make paper. They make paper, and then they have these little rolls that are leftovers or whatnot, and we were able to buy it. I'll have to it's, be on the lookout for it because I'm not finding it, but it is a new product. It almost is something you use with stencils. Hmm. And I do not remember what it is called. Gemstone Moose, says Shannon. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Shannon. Gemstone Moose. That That's sounds, it. That sounds like fun. It looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so we're going to lift this one up and let it dry. Crouton, crouton. So the last one we're using is the chalked up paint. Yeah, it does look like uh, packing paper. I think it's just a hair lighter it's not as heavy as some of the packing paper you get like at uh home goods or something when they're packing their stuff that's a little thicker this one's just a little thinner but it works yeah we have a we have a huge roll it's the roll is like this thick so this paint is harvest and i'm gonna go wash my hands sean really quick um i basically just want them to know on this that it's a little bit on the thinner side what's thinner the chalked up paint. Oh, chalk, yes. Chalked up paint definitely is. It is much, much thinner than your Dixie Bell paints, which makes it nice for doing your um, distressing. It just goes on so nice. You still have to, of course, you know, de de get it dry when you, before you put it. Um, so it's very, very cool. Uh, Marianne asks, does the home sign come unfinished? Absolutely it does. We don't want to do anything to it. You will do your own... Um, Twist on it, your whatever you want to do it, just yeah. If the round one, you no, can get. No, they don't see you, right? Oh yeah, well they can up in the corner. Um, you can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. Round like seven seven fifty for it, very cheap. When will the when will we be sending the invoices for the home bundle? Uh, it closes Sunday at eleven fifty nine, so probably Monday. I'm assuming. Um, Jazzy's in charge of that, so she'll tell me. I don't really do. I help them come up with what bundles they want to do, but it's really kind of her and Sean's deal. Yeah. So this stuff, even though it is recommended that you wet the Dixie Bell synthetic brushes, this paint's pretty thin. Sierra, you are in the worst spot, girl. Sierra, it's easy. Come here. <laughs> come here. Just sit down. She just wants to be with us and have a ball at all times. In fact, I have it on my list when we go to Walmart to buy more tennis balls for her because... 
And you have to buy the, the good ones. When you Look buy the, the cheapy... Can you show people what she yes. does? This is our entire life. You guys yeah. have no idea. Like, this is... She loves it. There she is. She used to, as a puppy, she would sit under there. She, she loved Hades laying both. under there. Hades used to do that, too. And they can't fit under there, so yeah. now they just stick their head under there. Isn't that funny? They don't even... That's because your balls, her balls under there, probably. Well, I know, but she would live under there if yeah. she could. So, Rebecca asks, Sean, how about the new channel? Do you know when the big release is? <laughs> no. Um... Yeah, why, Sean? When, when is that going to happen? When do, what do you mean? Like, how are you going to do Kenny that? Kenny has to help me. Oh, so what? Because I don't know how to. I'm sure I could figure it out, but... So, here's the thing that you guys always... You guys don't see, and I, and I get it. Sean's got fan club out there, and everyone loves the Shawnee. When it comes to this, yes, he does the technical side. Outside of that... I clean the house. <laughs> I he doesn't do thumbnails. He doesn't do links. He doesn't reply to comments. He's I'll just do some comments from time yeah. to time. Not very so often. not that he doesn't want to. It's just uh, we're going a hundred miles an hour, and so we are. We got a little uh, backed up uh, curveball on us this week. So um, my merch is now delayed a couple of days, and then Sean's channel will be next. Mm -hmm. So, so it's hard to do everything so much at once. We have there, there's some. There's just that, three of us, and one of us is technically part time. Yeah. So you can see this paint is going on a lot smoother, mm -hmm. not necessarily better or worse than Dixie Bow because I definitely you can see here. I don't know if Sean can zoom in. Yeah, let's see. This this paint where Dixie Bow paint, I don't really have to do a second coat. This I will. Um, and just because it's a thinner paint. Now, I'm not upset about that because we're going to be doing some distressing, but just keep that in mind when you're using it. Um, but I do love it. I just wish the paint jars were a little bit tougher and because bigger. if they fall, they break um, and bigger. Yeah. Like, why only this size? I mean, they do make bigger sizes, obviously, as you can see. That's a bigger one. I think maybe it's whoever is the person that makes it. She literally does. She makes it, like, I think in her garage. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just checking all my sides for drips, which we don't have any, and doing a final brush up and down. And then we can just put that into water. Yep. Now, um, I, Sean can, we'll dry this in a second, but I'm going to show you how we use the scrubby to clean our paint brushes. Yep. You got it over there. So here's the uh, our big old Cinco thing. Get your uh, dish clean, I guess. Uh, Melba, if you're asking, do they make a sampler pack for their paint? I don't know. You'd have to go. I, I guess you could go check. So you get you get the water running and your scrubby out. Of course, this one only has a little bit of soap, but you just run it back and forth, back and forth, until the soap starts coming up. And then once you get the soap inside, it helps clean it. Try to get all your excess uh, paint out first. As you can see, get it all out. And then you can take your um, scrubby to go back and forth. I do it a little differently, but this works. Yeah, Mel, will go to, uh, to their website and you can see if they have one. I, I really don't know. In there and what this does helps break down all the other because it is a um, kind of a soap it helps clean them and it, and it works really well with these brushes and Michael's as big as Ikea Maya Wow. And voila, that's how it's done. Oops. Just like that. Just like that. And you got nice clean brushes. Okay, I'm going to dry this real quick. Okay.
Okay, so I'm going to show you how I distress my boards. Now, there is no right or wrong way to do this, but I will tell you, just like I'm going to sneeze. Excuse, Excuse me. Um, I'm going to tell you less is more pressure wise. Um, so I do a distress where um, it's a dry brush. Thank you. I was trying to, oh. your finger was in the way. Um, okay, so a couple things. Number one, um, oops, I just got orange paint on that. Um, I'm gonna be using the French tip, and then this will be the overall at the end where we do a final coverage. The biggest thing on this is you truly do want it to be dry, meaning you're gonna put paint on there, but then almost feel like you're getting most of it off but you really want that. Number one, we want to make sure our surface is dry. All right, so I start with the darkest color and work up to the light. So this one here is called, I don't know because the thing's covering it, slate. Sherry asks, how long does the scrubby sponge last? It depends on how much you truly use it. You know, I would say it's not the most longest lasting soap, but it, I think it works okay. That's why we, we probably go through one every two weeks yeah. and we're using it multiple times during the day. Okay, so if you're gonna use Dixie Bell paint to do this, you can, you're just going to want to water it down. I am just trying to get as much of the paint off, but we're gonna keep dipping into it. So it looks like I'm wasting paint, but really I'm not. Once I get to about right there consistency, I'm gonna grab my surface and I just do strokes going back and forth very lightly. And at first, it's gonna look like you're not even doing much, but it will start to come through here in a sec. There's a good stroke. And then you can slowly pick up some more and then hit it. And then don't forget, you can kind of see it coming through there. To do your sides. Everything okay, Sean? Yep. I was gonna answer a question, but unless we wanna Kathy asks, will chalk paste wash off this paint or do you need to seal it? You if you want to reuse the board, you'd want to seal it. I'm confused. What's the question? So, so if you put chalk couture paste, you know, put a paste thing on there and then you wanted to wash it off and use the board again. Oh. You would definitely have to see Yeah, because it. it's a water soluble paint. Yeah. So it could get reactivated. Okay. So I'm now going to go on my edges and I'm going to just flick it and I want it to go from inside out. This is going to give us a not dramatic. If you want a more dramatic, you'll go like this and go outside in and this will give you those more dramatic looks. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of the, the brown's going to be the hardest yeah, to it's, see. But it's there. I can kind of see it. And don't worry too much about if you don't like it or, oh, I put too much. Because you are going to finish it by doing a final um, red on it. So we're going to just dramatically get all these edges a little bit more thicker. And then I always just hit my edges. There is no rhyme or reason. Once again, we're just going to hit this one. And then this is where we're going to kind of even that out. So I'm going to bring it down here. You can see it's a little thick here. So I'm just going to even it out by going back and forth. And now you can really see the lines coming through. Okay, so... In between each layer, we need to dry it.
Okay, so let me grab my next color. This is Ellie, I think. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Ellie? Yes. Okay. I put it in a bigger jar. So there is a darker gray. Um, I forget the name of it, but they're out of stock on that one. So, and I like, since I use this gray to Ellie so much, I put it in a bigger can. So same thing. We're going to start by just hitting it. And very lightly. So the key is to get paint on your brush, but not so much that it is, because you're you're just basically wanting to hit it very lightly to create this look. So I'm gonna hit all my sides, and then once again, I'm going to grab a little bit on my paintbrush, dab it off, and then I'm gonna do that dramatic kind of paint here. Okay, once again, you're just going to take this brush and even out those coats by going back and forth. And on this color is when I'm going to start doing the corners too. So you kind of want to do your corners at a little bit of an angle. Fatima asks, can you say again for the edging, which is darker versus lighter? I don't, what's the question? Are you, are you talking about the color paints you just used? Or the two grays, because there's a light in there. Oh, Maybe. Ellie's the lighter. Ellie's lighter. The Ellie, lightest print. Ellie's lighter. All right, and then I'm going to finish with Oh, I don't, uh, do I want to do Brie or white? Her white is called Blanco. Blanco, Spanish for white. Do I want to do that or do I want to do, hmm, decisions. I think I'll do, I think I'll do this color. All right. Yes, Sean, everyone sees your bruise and they all feel that? bad for you. you. It's not as bad as my oh, bruises. I know. Oh, yours is really nice now. Cool, yeah. it's all gone. Okay, so the same thing. Gonna come over here and get the excess off. And we're just gonna hit. This time I'll start on the edges. Now, if you're getting harsh lines and you don't like that, don't worry because you will be doing a final color of the mus muscadine. What is this called? Muscadine. Muscadine. Or, or muscadine. It's, they said it's like like dying, so muscadine. Mm. Okay, so the last one on this, we're just gonna even it out. All right. Okay. So we're going to do a final dry on this before we do our muscadine. And I'm going to grab some water. Some agua. So instead of using the synthetic brushes. I'm going to be using the bell brush for each of these in the different colors. And we need to thin it out a little bit. So what we're going to do is dip it in the water and then I just take it on the edge to get excess water out. I'm going to pick it up 
it doesn't matter in the lid or wherever and I'm gonna get it off my brush and then very lightly I'm gonna start on the edges and the reason why you want to do it lightly at first is because of your edging you don't want to get rid of it completely but you definitely want to lighten it up and you can always go back and add more Distressing, can you uh, zoom out so they can see yeah, everything since sure. I... Thank you, Sean. I can zoom in and just move over. Oops, wrong one. And this is actually kind of where it gets fun because now you can keep adding layers upon layers to really get a nice distressed look. But essentially the last final coat is just softening the whole thing. Because you don't want really harsh lines. So for example right there you don't want that harsh line you want to soften it by using that top coat again and it softens it but as it dries it's going to come through so before you make a decision whether you like it or not always dry Okay, so, oh, I was like, GTG, what is that got to go? I got it. I'm cool with kids. All right. And then last but not least, for me, the finishing touches will come with a baby wipe. So, well, this is more of just kind of a wet wipe. I'm gonna go on my edges and very gently wipe. And it's going to bring a little bit more of those harsh lines back out. And then if you wanna do that anywhere else, just very gently. And what this will do is it will give it a natural streak look when it dries. So you can see it's just barely picking it up. Do not use Lysol, you need to use these baby wipes are literally just water. water. Now, depending on how distressed you want it, you could grab um, any of your colors and just very gently, once again, and once again, it doesn't look like you're adding stuff, but you really are. But this will just kind of give you more of that to where the white isn't popping out as much. And then we do the final, final test, which is, Sean, what do you think? Do you like it or not? And he will either say, if he wants to go to bed, he'll go, I love it. Or if he does it, he'll actually say like, no, nope, redo it. So another technique you can do is put like this. We can see that that's there. Before it dries, grab your baby wipe and bring it down. Like that. So this gives you, if you have really harsh lines up at the top or something sticking out, this will just give you that extra color you need to kind of fade it down. Then we do this. Gorgeous. Here, hold on. Joe. And this is still not completely dry, but Joan asks, how do you learn the to learn these uh, layers to get the layer of the paint to get these effects? How did you find out? How did you do this? So how I found this one is I'm cheap and didn't want to buy regular wood and I had all these wood panels and I just started playing one day and said, Sean, does this look good or am I in an alternate reality where it just looks good but it really isn't and he will tell me, no, it looks good. Um, but in the beginning... I was not very good and my lines were very harsh and it just took practice. Yep, practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I'm just gonna... So the next color we're gonna work on is our gold. Well, I guess, Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard, always be thinking of the color you're working because obviously out of all of them, this is the one that all the colors are really gonna pop on. Um. Sorry, I had a mark there. Okay, so the first thing is we're gonna dry it because, oh, they can't see. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I was watching you do it. <laughs> okay, 
So we already have these from our last time. So I'm just going to grab that. And I don't need a ton of the brown. But this will give you an idea of how light it is. So this is, I haven't even dipped it in paint. And see, if I keep going over it, you're going to start okay. seeing that come out. That's what you want, okay? So I'm gonna dip this in a little bit. Get my extra off. Maya says, mmm, mustard. Now I want hot dogs. I love a good, I like sausage dogs. He was heartbroken when Costco got rid oh, of their really. sausage dogs. Well, you still buy them, you just can't buy them at the- uh, Heartbroken. At the, at the counter. It's sad. That color, as I said, that color is gorgeous. Okay, so we got a good one here, but I do want to get a little bit of this brown on the edging. So remember, I'm just going to... And this paint, the chalked up paint, is pretty thin. So I'm... I'm not going to say it dries immediately, but it doesn't take a lot to dry it. You do want either the bell brush or the French tip or even a cheap brush because, yes, it will shed, but you really want a brush that does leave behind kind of a, a brush mark. Mm. Okay, so now I'm just going to hit my sides. What are you mmming about? Jen asked, have we ever had Costco's macaroni and cheese? So good. It is so good. So here's the thing. I don't know what Costco does, but most stuff that I traditionally don't ever like, I love at Costco. Point, their pot pie. I usually don't like pot pie, but their pot pie is freaking amazing. Pot pie is good. That and, dough, I don't know what they do with that dough, but it's so good. And I usually do not like meatloaf, but something about their meatloaf, oh, it is so good. I think Sean puts, I don't know what he puts in it to make me <laughs> like stuff, but. Okay, so there we go. I'm liking that. I'm gonna grab the next one, which is Ellie. I'm gonna dip it. Same thing, back and forth. Wait, Costco doesn't have the sausage dogs anymore? No. No, Kim, sorry. They they basically got rid of that. You can buy them still, you know, like in their refrigerator. Yeah, they home. said that they, they only want to carry so many items in their food court. Mm -hmm. And that was one that just had to go. And Sean's like, why couldn't we got rid of the hot yeah, dog? Rid of the hot dog. <laughs> yeah. But, then the, but some of them went and got... Uh, hamburgers or cheeseburgers, but yeah, ours, ours did. did not. No, our Northside one did. The Northside one, but the one that we go to does not. But I, I don't think some people said they're good. I've heard mixed reviews. Hmm. Okay, that, that potato salad up in Canada one. Wow. We are finishing with um, this one is called Brie. If you want to do her white, it would be Blanco, or you could use Dixie Belle and just water it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start with the edges on this. It just adds texture. And now here's something you can spend layer after layer. Just repeat the process, starting with kernel mustard, then doing each layer going up. And it's just going to add that much more depth because the chalked up paint is thin. So you see all the different layers going all the way down. It's kind of cool. Get my corners. All right, so let's go ahead and put these off to the side. You want to dry, very important to dry before you do the next layer. And it does not take a lot on the drying. Okay. So we're going to grab my bell brush. This is a nice, dry, clean one. We're going to grab kernel mustard. And we're going to dip it in water first. Get the excess water off of it. 
and then we're going to dip it in yellow. And the reason we're doing this is we really want to thin it out to make it almost translucent. And then once it's thinned out, all I do is very gently go over it. And this is just going to um, make it to where your lines aren't so harsh. On my monitor here, it looks like it's really bright yellow. It really isn't. It's it's it is kind of a deeper yellow. It's a harvesty yellow. Yeah. And sometimes you'll see like right now, I don't wait for it to dry because I want it to kind of pick up some of those yellow tune, tones and mix in with that nice harvesty brown looking color. So I'm gonna grab a wet wipe and just kind of bring out those edges a little bit by just hitting it again. <clears throat> Look at all your sides and do a final dry. Now, if you have anything that is a harsh line coming out like right there and you don't want it, just take that yellow you had and just kind of go over it until it lightens up for you. So if you don't want that nice harsh line, it depends on what you're going for. Just take a little bit of that leftover paint on here. And then we do the final check. That is gorgeous. You like it? That is gorgeous. Let's show them. Look at that. Look we'll at let this dry and let's finish up with our last color. Hello from Sandpoint. Hi, Sandpoint. That would be Beth. Hi, Beth. We really need to go up there sometime. It's been a while. It's been a, a hot long, second, it's been huh? a long while. Is that where you also work? Is that the location you work at? Is it the same point? Okay. Let's go ahead and do our last color. So this here is the harvest from Chalked Up. So this is, um, you can tell it is because see how it didn't do a very good coverage, which was okay because we knew we were going to go to this anyways. But um, let's go ahead and start distressing. I'm going to start with Slate. Depends on what look I'm going for if I start with the edges or if I start hitting it first um, in this case I'm starting with the edges because I really want those edges to be dramatic so I can carry it through the rest of the piece all right and now these big splotchy parts are going to even out by just And then we want to hit our corners. And then I'm going to just hit my edges again here. Angela, hey Ryan, hey there. I'm new. I joined Angie from Alabama. Hi, Angie from Alabama. Hi, Angie. Patient says this reminds her of uh, distressing paper. Oh yeah, it's basically the same concept. Um, I remember when I first distress distress paper on my pieces, and if you get too much ink, it gets too much, and mm -hmm. so it is definitely like 
for those that have done distressing a paper, it's the same kind of process. You will, you will get a feel for it. Yeah. Um, I always tell people, all you have to really do is, if you don't like it, if you absolutely hate it, you paint over it. And some people don't like this look. I've had some people say, why would you, those colors were so bright and beautiful and brilliant, why would you distress it? And really, it depends on the season. If it's spring, very rarely do I distress my spring items. But harvest, fall, I almost want that distressed antique farmhouse, not dusty, but kind of <clears throat> worn look. Oh, yeah. And I almost want it to have a wood finish, even though it was a wood panel, it's not a real wood, but I want it to have that nice wood finish. Cecilia Faris, or Ferris, hello, I'm also new, watching from Montana. Ooh, Montana. What part of Montana are you from? Sean used to go there a lot. Yeah, I used to go to Billings all the time. Love that big old eight hour drive, or 10 if it's snowing. He loved that drive. Yep. And then when he got there, he would always tell me, I'm here, I'm going to get dinner. Found a sushi place, found a this, found a, he had, every city he went to he usually had a restaurant he liked. I had, yep, there's one I'd always go to. There was a, there was a sushi place in Billings that I always went to. Yeah. Very nice people there. Annette, you've got it on the head. She says, nothing some paint can't pick. That's one of my decorating mottos. Oh, you're from Helena. Nice. Let's see. Um, uh, Mandolin? She's from, I think, from there as well. I think she she's from Kalispell. Who? Mandolin. Who is Mandolin? Madeline. Oh, Madeline. Madeline. Yeah. Madeline. Yeah, she's from, from there. Yeah, Kelly is from... Where's Kelly Curry from? Kelly Curry lives in... Uh, is she Butte? Yeah. No, wait. Victoria. Victoria's Butte. from Butte. Um, she is from. Oh, shoot. I don't remember. How can I not remember? Bozeman. Bozeman. She's from Bozeman. Yeah. I've stopped in Bozeman a couple times to get something to eat on my way home, depending on what time it was. See you, Nancy. Have a good live. All right. So let's go ahead and get our chalked up paint. Grab. Now this one I don't need to water down as much because it's already pretty watery. But this is going to lighten up some of these harsher lines. So once again, I'm just going to take the excess out and then just start hitting all of these lines to lighten it up. Joy says, just got an order, just got in an order of brushes from Dixie Bell, so glad you're showing how to use them. Joy from Tennessee. We've never been, have we been to Tennessee? Nope, never been. We've never been um, to Tennessee. We will be for um, Chalkon. We're going to Nashville. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Can't so we wait. Will, yes, we will be going to Tennessee in, uh, so that's what, June? Or July? No. When are we going? I, July is usually it. Yeah, so in July we'll be there. I am ready for an in-person event. Yes, that's coming soon. January. First it was our... Um, it was first uh, the... We always do a couture tours. And I literally just booked my plane ticket and it got canceled because that's right when COVID was hitting. Yep. And then it was like, don't worry, we'll still have Chalk Con. And then... Yeah. Everything started getting canceled. Okay, so remember, if at any time you want to kind of re-unlighten it, you just take a baby wipe mm -hmm. and just very gently go over it, and that's going to bring those colors back out. You can also always, if you want to lighten up a dark streak. Madeline says she grew up in Sandy, Utah, but she lo and she loves Montana. Visits Spokane a few times, but not this year. Oh, COVID. COVID. So while it's still wet is when I'm going to take 
this baby wipe and kind of go over it because it's just going to soften those edges. And then I'm going to check my edges on the side. Got a little harsh line there that I'm going to... And then I'm going to do a dry. Alright, so I do want... Let's add a little bit more orange, and then I'm going to finish by adding some more brown to this, because I really like that brown color on this. I'm going to tell you, when I first got Dixie Bell brushes, I was so used to their bell and their French tip, and I got the synthetic, and I was like, Sean, I don't like it. And he was like, oh my gosh, you're going to love them. And I was like, it's a weird feel, and I can't. Well, it's because I was trying to use them to distress. Mm -hmm. I was trying to use it to get this look. I was, and finally he was like, no, 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 no. These are more for like your even coverage, your base paint. Now use them and feel the paint and feel how much it can hold on to the paint and feel like how further you paint. And he was right. It, it, they just have a feel to them. And these are good for distressing where those ones are so good for spreading it. Oh, Angela says Chalk Chalkon is at the end of June this year. That's, That's right. right. That's right. End. So if you have a harsh line, remember we're just gonna take our baby wipe, just like that. And now let's do our dry and get the Sean of approval. Good. Love it. Gorgeous. Good. Look at that, Kay. guys. So we're going to put this off to the side. I'm going to throw away this. Sean can answer any questions before I do the final look. And then we're going to hop over to our other channel. And when I say it's going to be a quick live, it's going to be a quick live over there. Let Sean ditch this. I'm going to go put my brushes away. Mm -hmm. Annette asks you, Kenny, Yeah. don't you feel like sometimes you just can't stop? Like you want to keep adding yes. and playing? Yes. Yes, he does. Well, I would, I, if, if, Sean wasn't itching to get to Walmart, I would do another four layers of each. Four more layers. Sean, will you throw away that butcher paper? Yep. Thank you. You know, what's interesting is that when you see some of these um, distressed stuff that he does, you would swear you bought it. he bought it at, uh, like, Hobby Lobby or something. It just, look, it's that good. It's really that good. It looks great. You're welcome, Maya. See, Kim, it's that simple. Don't be nervous. Just do it. Just do it. You'll love it. Let's see if there's anything else out there that I may have missed. Yes, Fatima, leadership is on. They've got, we're going to be down in Savannah, Georgia, or over down Savannah, Georgia. We got to get our tickets soon. <clears throat> um, that they're doing, they've got everything set up for distance, um, masks, the whole bit. It's all they have just enough for all that. So yep, and it's right on the river too. All right. Oh, thanks, Maya. What? She says this. Oh. I love that. Thank you so much. He'll be. He can stay for maybe a couple more months. A couple more months. Then after that, who knows? I'm still gonna look into the upgrade program <laughs> because everyone likes a little upgrade. I'm missing a paint. But oh well. You're missing, okay. you're missing one? Yeah. Huh. So let's bring out all the colors. Okay. So the one thing I would probably do, and I'm not going to do it now, but if I was to, whoever said that comment, and I apologize, I was washing so I couldn't hear your name, but yes, the, Annette. Mo Annette, the more layers you add, literally you could start again with the musk. Muscatine wine? Muscadine. Muscadine wine, layer it brown, 
white and just keep layering up and that's where you get where Sean will say like I swear you bought this in a store because of all the different layers and stuff so um but those look great so I'm gonna put those off all right um let's see it is 656 give us maybe 10 minutes if that okay. look at my hair um and we will be live on our other channel if you don't know that other channel that's okay it's Chuck Tour, Ken's Creations. It will be a pretty quick live. Mm -hmm. And um Can I it, show it on this channel? The, the, yeah. That's where we'll be. Yeah. Um, no, that's my website. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that's your website. <laughs> sorry. Um, the website. There we go. Yeah. So um it'll be pretty quick live. But if you have any questions on how we prep this. Oh, there's a dog in the way. Yeah, I was gonna uh, look down right. below. If you use our links, thank you. We appreciate that. Uh, that home bundle is good until Sunday, Sunday at 11.59 Pacific time. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. Oh, if Dixie Bell's out of items you want, please, please make sure to just put in the alert. Yep. When you get your email, um, use our link and go buy it. Yep. Uh, because they regularly get the stuff in. Yep. So, all right.